Hello, everyone in YouTube land. We love wrestling back here. Nintendo Direct time. Yes. Recap time. <coughs> oh, still getting over my cold. God damn. It's like crap in my throat and all that, so I apologize for any coughing. So, But yes, Nintendo Direct time. Recap time. Um, okay. That was a great Direct. Seriously. That, that was really, really good. Um, could be, it could be one of their best. Like, not their number one best, but that was really, really good. We got some new games, not like big games, uh, like some, you know, Star Fox or F Zero, Zelda, whatever the fuck, you know, you know. People, I bet, were pissed because we didn't get Zelda. Nintendo screwed because we didn't get Zelda or Star Fox or whatever. Um, but they showed some very cr not creative stuff, but just stuff that we just would never think about. Just nuts. So, obviously, notes as usual. Um, yeah, I got up <laughs> not that long ago, actually. Probably like 25, 30 minutes ago. I don't know. It's been, it's been over for a while now, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, I got up and I caught it right at the end. So I was like, oh, what's going on here? Wow, wow. Kirby and Mario Kart. I was like, what is this? And Smash Brothers. So I was like, ah, holy crap. I'm trying to process all this information. So, um, got notes. Um, yeah, let's just start off here. Got in an order. First, they showed uh, Hyrule Warriors. Yeah. Now, about this, I don't like Dynasty Wars at all. So, right when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is boring. Um, yeah, it's for Wii U. It's a new game for Wii U. So far, so far, it's called Hyrule Warriors. They could keep that name. Sounds pretty cool. You know, sounds awesome. Sounds creative, whatever. And, yeah. Uh, I just, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to get it. It... You know, they're trying to make, trying to put Link in, uh, Link into games and you know, different types of games or whatever. It's kind of like how they did with Link's crossbow training, you know, with the Wii, you know, with the zapper shooting, all that stuff. That That's pretty cool. And that was awesome. But, you know, I'm not really into, yeah, not really into Dynasty Warriors at all. Very, you know, repetitive game. Very, very redundant. Don't like that series at all. Just boring. So, I'm not going to get this. No, it, it looks... It doesn't look bad, it just, yeah, it's, you're taking all the Dynasty Warrior characters and all that stuff and just throwing Link into it. I'm not going to get it. I, I just don't care. I'm sorry. Um, number two, yeah, they showed Kirby Triple Deluxe. That's obviously for the 3DS. And we already knew about this game, but it looks awesome. I love Kirby. And I'm glad there's going to be one on, you know, 3DS. He, Kirby shines on handhelds like he always has. He started on handhelds and... This is going to be awesome. So, it looks great. And it does kind of look like Kirby's Return to Dreamland on Wii. So, yeah. It looks awesome. Obviously, power-ups, you know, your usual Kirby stuff. So, uh, then they showed, for, you know, the third one here, uh, they showed another 3DS game, Yoshi's New Island. It looks awesome. We've been wondering where this game was or what's happening, and it's coming out. So, and I don't have the dates for any of this stuff, obviously, for... Obviously, High Rule of War High Rule Warriors. It's probably still, yeah. That's this is obviously all spring. So, but I don't, I don't have the exact dates or months. So whatever. But yeah, Yoshi's New Island. Uh, yeah, it looks great. What, what can I say? It looks looks awesome. And you know, when I saw that first trailer, when I was announced, like was it announced during E3. Forgot. Yeah, something like that, or some Nintendo Direct. Yeah, it was announced during some Nintendo Direct, like beginning of this year, I think. And I saw the trailer on the 3DS, and I thought it was a nice, pretty game. Looks clean. You know, nice 3D effects. You know, some people don't like the Yoshi's, Yoshi Island games, but I do. I think they're awesome platformers. And, yeah. Next, they showed up here. Chibi Robo Photo Finder. We already knew about this. They're bringing back Chibi Robo. Uh, you know, I wanted Nintendo. You know, I, ne I never tried the original Chibi Robo. It was on GameCube. Um... I don't know how many games are in that series. I think it's just that and no, this one right here. So, uh, yeah, I really wanted Nintendo to bring Chibi Robo. Obviously, it's too late now, but I wanted them to bring it, you know, the new Play Control game on Wii, you know, because obviously it's out in Japan, but now they're bringing back a new one, you know. I don't know. This one's all right, you know. I, not gonna, I don't know. We'll see. Next up here, uh, this isn't really a game at all, it's just Pokemon Bank. And the 
pokey transporter thing. I don't know. I'm not going to get too much into that right now. Um, yeah. I'm just not going to. Sorry that I'm not getting into detail and that type of stuff, but whatever. Uh, next up here, Bravely Default. We already knew about it. It looks awesome. You know, your straightforward RPG. Could be bad, could be good. It looks alright. Um, I'm not the biggest RPG fan, but it looks kind of... Not really generic, but it looks good. You know, probably better than any other... Better than any RPG out there now, especially better than any Western RPG or whatever. It's, it looks like a true RPG, like I said. You know, and I said that in the last Nintendo Direct video, I think, yeah. But, yeah, it, lo it looks awesome, whatever. Um, next up, they talked about... Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, they show some gameplay, we already knew about this, so... And I love how, um, they showed that, I think it was probably the intro of the game, I think. Um, you know, it's Donkey Kong, Dixie Kong, Diddy Kong, and Cranky Kong, all sitting around and whatever, and just doing their, doing their usual crazy stuff, whatever, but... It looks awesome, uh, this will be Game of the Year, seriously, it will be Game of 2014. Um, I don't care what anyone says... Uh, people are hating on this game for so many reasons, for stupid shit that doesn't you know, make any sense at all. You know, it's Donkey Kong Country, it's Donkey Kong, he's an icon in gaming. Donkey Kong Country is one of the best gaming series ever, and, I mean, come on. It's, you know, people are still mad about the whole Cranky Kong thing, and whatever. But, like I said, I love how they actually, when they're showing gameplay, they rewind it back to Cranky Kong, like they're just sticking in people's faces like, fuck you, it's Cranky Kong, you're gonna deal with it, you're gonna buy it, screw you. That's the way it is, you know, that's how Nintendo is. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be great, what can you say? It's gonna be an awesome platformer, very hard game, um, just like all the other games in the series, so I cannot wait. <clears throat> and I think, I thought they're, uh, what was it supposed to be, uh, it was a couple weeks ago, they're saying there is a rumor of a fifth fifth playable character, and that's obviously false. I don't think there is. I think it's just, you know, four. So, um, but yeah, more here. Sonic Lost World DLC. Um, I still not gotten this game yet, but did play the demo. Looks really cool. It looks, it's awesome. Played one level. It's awesome. It's, you know, really good, really cool. Had to get used to it a little bit, you know, in the gameplay. Um, but yeah, this is DLC. This is, uh, Really, way out of left field. Seriously, this is like crazy stuff. Um, Yoshi's Island Zone DLC. <coughs> it's Sonic playing in Yoshi's Island. I mean, it's just like it's wow. <coughs> I would never think of that at all. Uh, that is crazy. You know, uh, I think it's available now. I think, I think, I think so. That's what it said on there. Um, but yeah, that is nuts. Really crazy. Then they talked about more about uh, Yoshi's Sport. Um, what am I saying, Yoshi? Jesus Christ. Wii Sports Club uh, Golf is coming, so who cares? I like Wii Sports a lot, but you know, it's just online. That's cool. You know, I love Wii Sports, but it just, I don't know. it's just—it's Wii Sports. You know. Next up, this right here was really surprising. I was like, what? Link and Donkey Kong, <laughs> and like new types of uh, levels and old NES games. Like, NES Remix. It's NES Remix. Um, yeah, Link was in Donkey Kong, in the original arcade Donkey Kong, and, like, all new fucking looking levels in original Super Mario Bros. and all any, and all the NES games. They're, re they're doing everything. Sight Bike, Pinball, uh, just everything. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy stuff. Uh, that's awesome, you know, remixing levels from games that are 30 years old, over 30 years old, whatever. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say they're late to it, but that's kind of random. But <laughs> uh, Next up here is another surprise. I mean, they were just rolling with so many like different things. I mean, just, wow. Dr. Luigi. <laughs> they are not done with Luigi, seriously. And I think they're going to... I heard some rumors that they're going to bring Luigi into next year. It's like, what the hell? Okay, you said 2013 is the year the Luigi end it. And I think Dr. Luigi is perfect because that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> again, nothing, you know, we could have never thought of that, but you know, Nintendo did. 
and it looks awesome. And the point of the game is you're supposed to screw up. You're supposed to get game over or whatever, something like that. It's the complete opposite of Dr. Mario because Luigi is a screw up character. He's a dork. He's whatever, you know, he's the complete opposite of Mario. Um, yeah, it looks, that's, that's just another crazy idea from Nintendo that you would never think of. Um, then they talked about a new reward on Club Nintendo right after the Luigi thing. So the year of Luigi is not done because a new figure, it's a Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon figurine. It looks just like that uh, other Club Nintendo type figurine with all you know Mario Bowser, Peach, or whatever. That that that's the thing. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, that looks awesome. Um, it's I checked it on Club Nintendo. It's like 1,500 point uh, coins. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that probably ever <laughs> unless I save up all my coins. But that's a lot. And that's what I was saying. Like, what is this gonna cost? Like 900 coins, thousand, and it's like 1,500 coins. So that's really expensive. Um, yeah. Now, a really big announcement here. Uh, obviously, when you have a Nintendo Direct and you have a Smash Brothers game coming out, uh, anytime. I mean, I guarantee you. Obviously, we won't get Smash Brothers and probably until end of 2014. So, when we get Nintendo Directs, there it's a perfect place to reveal a new character or a new stage or what have you. You know, and. This right here, special is revealed Rosalina. That's really cool. Um, the trailer actually started off with um, Kirby flying, whatever. You know, it looked like you know, wow, that is. And then you're, what the heck is this Galaxy? Is this a new Kirby game? Is this Mario Kart? And then you're like, holy crap, this is Mario Kart. Kirby's in Mario Kart. And then you thought Rosalina was in Mario Kart. Eight, you thought this was a trailer for Mario Kart 8. And you're like, holy shit, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> there was some funny fucking shit happening in that trailer, like DK poking Kirby and all that. It's just like, what the fuck? This is weird. And then, yeah, then you finally realize it's Smash Brothers. Rollins is only not is in Smash Brothers. Um, I guess that was their trick of, you know, I don't know. What the heck? It's just really weird. Really caught, caught you off guard. You're like, what? Um, but yeah, Rosalina looks, yeah, just awesome. She deserves to be in there, I think, you know. Big character from our galaxy have to do it. And, yeah. Next up here, pretty big, obviously, you know, Mario Kart 8. Uh, we saw a new course. It's the airport course. It looks great. I think it's like Sunshine Airport from, you know, I guess Mario, Mario Sunshine or whatever, but yeah, it, it looks fantastic. Mario Kart 8 looks amazing, you know. It does actually look like a Pixar movie. It looks incredible, you know, um, but yeah, I, that was it, you know, that was it of their Nintendo Direct, and we were all blown away, I think, you, maybe you weren't, I don't know, but I thought, oh, just a lot of different stuff, you know, like the Dr. Luigi, NES Remix, Sonic, and Yoshi's, and Yoshi's Island Zone, I mean, what the heck, that's just so weird, so strange, you know, when they're putting Sonic in Yoshi's Island, one of their, remember that, I think, yeah, and didn't Nintendo make a deal to make three Sonic games or something like that? Sonic Lost World, obviously, and I forgot, whatever. Maybe this is one of the deals that they made with Sega or whatever, I don't know. But I think pretty much Nintendo owns Sega right now. Not, they, not, not exactly that they own them, but it's like, you're putting Sonic in Yoshi's Island? That's pretty fucking nuts. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, they pretty much own Sonic. I mean, I don't know why. What the hell? Maybe they don't, but it's kind of weird. Very strange stuff, so I don't know. Uh, they yeah, a lot of crazy ideas, you know, and I don't know. The Hyrule Warriors thing, I don't know. If you're into Dynasty Warriors <coughs> and Zelda, that's perfect for you. I love Zelda, but I want Dynasty Warriors, and so, but yeah, that was it. My voice is getting really weird, so... Talk to you guys later. More videos coming soon. Try to get more videos up. And yeah. Peace out. Later. Bye.